Alex J. Murphy. He was shot to pieces by an evil gang and put back together by an even eviler gang, OCP. Find out if this toy is a great beginning in the next episode of Toy Foolery. So let's see if this box is better than your mother's. So I know I'm I know this is gonna be a little bit limited because of the concept behind this toy, which I'm surprised they even made it, but um, we get the OCP logo on the front, Robocop Ultimate Alice J. Murphy, they give us his badge number or something I never knew. I'm not gonna go verify it, I'm not gonna go look and see what uh, Murphy's badge number actually was. On the side we get a photo of Murphy with his visor on. Um, OCP logo on the side. Uh, we have some photos of Alex Murphy being slaughtered by uh, Banneker and his gang. And another photo of it on the back. Once again, I'm, I'm well aware of the source material and I know that we can't do much on it. I'm okay with the fact that they gave me two photos on the side that are completely different. And even though it's plain here on the front, is actually something unique once again giving me a badge number something i didn't know for alex murphy on the front and then we open it and we have display of the toy where we get to see the two various forms that we're going to get the two vests and a photo of alex murphy against the wall really good box your mom would be proud so let's see uh, what's in the box? so here we have what's in the box so we have Alex Murphy, we have uh, the helmeted uh, toy, cool figure. Or you can tell he's not going to be posing much, but that's a cool figure anyway. We have a different vest for him so that we can see him get shot to smithereens. We have splat hand when they shoot off his hands. Um, we get two pistols. We get two pistol holding hands. We get the Robocop, I know how to spin a gun hand, which is super cool. Another pistol hand. We get a Murphy head. That's the same head, but that's unhelmeted because obviously the helmet doesn't come off. And then we get, they are shooting the living crap out of me face. So now let's take a look and see how this fits in with the design. So this looks, this looks, I have to stop saying so, it's annoying. This toy looks really, really good. Um, they do a lot of good details. See the OCP Detroit badge uh, insignia on the side, OCP Detroit police. Um, you get to see his baton and pepper spray. Uh, you get to see all the armor he has on him. Obviously, the body armor comes off so you can replace it. The arm comes off super easy. I hope it comes, goes pops on easily. So, really good figure. The design looks just like it does in a movie. I was just checking, so the piece pops off easily so that you can replace it with the bloodied bulletproof vest when he gets shot up. Um, this is really bad body armor. He can actually bleed through it. Um, he looks like Peter Weller. All the pieces look like him. All the faces look like Peter Weller. My only concern is, does he scale well with Robocop? I only have the original NECA Robocop, which might be a little bit too small, but let's check it out. And actually it scales perfectly. Uh, Robocop should be taller than him. He's obviously bigger and bulkier. So I was afraid that the Peter Weller would be a little bit too big. Um, actually, if they made him a little bit shorter, it would be just fine, but he blends in well with Robocop. So kudos to them for that. 
Uh, let's see if this thing can squat. I'm going to tell you probably not because neck is not known for the, uh, posing, but hey, the visor goes up and down. Cool. The arm cannot move. This arm is meant to pop off easily because you replace it with the bloody stump arm from him being shot to pieces when his arm gets shot off. So that arm doesn't move. Does this arm go up? This arm does go up. He can T-pose. Can he sit? He cannot. He is limited to this much on his leg movement. Can his leg go out? Nope. So this guy cannot do anything. He is meant to be a statue of him getting shot. He is probably less dynamic than Robocop, which is very sad. Um, I would have liked him to be able to do at least some cool, I'm about to kill some bad guys poses, even though he doesn't get to do that in the movie before he's shot to pieces. Um, it would have been nice. I think they gave him enough articulation in his knees so that he can be on the floor being shot up, screaming for help. Yep, that's all he has is they gave him this give his knee his ankle out the way. Stay. This is what they wanted him for. You put the screaming face on him, you have him like that, and that's it. That's what they want him for. And I think that's fair. I'm you're not really besides him doing the Robocop holster uh, spinning thing. You really don't expect him to be in a much better pose than this. This is what you're expecting him for. In fact, I'm pretty sure 90% of the people are going to have him if they don't have two of them with him with his uh, master blaster helmet on and him holding his gun. Most of them are going to have him on the ground screaming in pain. So let's talk about money. So this thing's cost right now is around 32 to 35 bucks. And um, this thing is actually fairly unique. Uh, you're not gonna get another Peter Weller being shot to death. So absolutely not a must buy because clearly this is a very gory scene and it's something that most people aren't gonna wanna play with and you're not gonna play with it. It's just kind of one of those things that you put up and you're like, okay, this is what I know what it's for. You, you're, you want to show him being murdered by someone my only other my I say my only gripe no articulation whatsoever this is complete like this is what they expect you to do is have some other figures lean over him shooting guns at him so the only other problem is is that as a seven he is a he's a tad bit bigger than a six inch figure so you're not going to have a lot of toys that are going to be in his same size that can shoot him and not look awkward with his torso next to his let's see I have the tracksuit mafia right here and as you can see, six inch doesn't fit well, way smaller. So I don't have many seven inch figures that can blend in and do the shooting that I needed to. So um, that's, I think that's my only gripe with it is that this is meant to be a piece where you're putting it with someone else shooting at it. I don't have any bugs in the seven inch figure that can seven inch scale that can shoot at him, even though I'm pretty sure the accessories will make a difference. The the figures, the size of the figures do. So maybe some force perspective will make up for it. But in general, uh, I say unless you're just a huge Robocop fan, this is a skip. Love the sculpt, love the amount of effort they put into it. But the fact that it doesn't move and the fact that this is the, the, the pose that you want it to be in at all times. Unless they pick up, a, they make a Banneker figure um, or the rest of his game, which I doubt because they weren't that popular in the first place. If they do though, absolutely. Buy the whole set, you can redo this scene. The figures will be in the right size scale. The toys will be in the right size scale, it makes sense. But as it is, this is not a good figure to buy on its own. Go get a Robocop figure. Um, other than that, catch you guys in the next bit. Appreciate you.